I think that vote, the size of the vote, more than two to one of the Republicans voted to oppose what the president did, probably got to the president uh, because he was shaken up by it. And that's why uh, we couldn't continue in the meeting because he was just not relating to the reality of it. Uh, again, we are proud of our men and women in uniform. Those who have been in Syria have conducted themselves in a way that makes us all very proud. And I conveyed that to the chairman of the Joint Chiefs. Go ahead, what we Stanley. witnessed on the part of the yeah. president was a meltdown. Sad to say. Yeah, thank you, uh, Speaker. He was insulting, particularly to the Speaker. She kept her cool completely. But he called her a third-rate politician. He said that the, there are communists involved and you guys might like that. I mean, this was not a dialogue. It was sort of a diatribe, a nasty diatribe, not focused on the facts, particularly the fact of how to curtail ISIS, a terrorist organization that aims to hurt the United States in our homeland. I have served with six presidents. I have been in many, many, many meetings like this. Never have I seen a president treat so disrespectfully a co-equal branch of the government of the United States. This, what's really sad about it is I, I pray for the president all the time, and I tell him that. I pray for his safety and that of his family. I think now we have to pray for his health because this was a very serious meltdown on the part of the president.